July 23, 1999, NASA launched Space Shuttle Columbia to deploy to orbit the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Lift off of Columbia, reaching new heights for women in X-ray astronomy. Chandra opened its eye on the cosmos on August 26 that year. Its first light operation, concentrating on the supernova remnant Cassiopeia A. 25 years later, still in flight, Chandra has made nearly 25,000 X-ray observations studying the most energetic objects and physical processes in the universe, including supernovas, black holes, and cosmic cradles, where new galaxies and stars are being born. This unprecedented mission, initially expected to last just three to five years, has proved to be one of NASA's greatest scientific and engineering achievements. When you build instrumentation that's 10 times more sensitive than anything that was done before, you're bound to discover something new and exciting. The concept of an X-ray observatory was first proposed to NASA in 1976 by astrophysicists Ricardo Giacconi and Harvey Tannenbaum. Dr. Martin Weiskopf was tapped in 1979 to lead the development effort at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Everything was new. We were making the basic discoveries. In other words, the field hadn't existed before. And so every step forward was a gigantic step forward. Technically speaking, the biggest leap of faith was, could we build the telescope that we said we needed? Chandra required an angular resolution, that is, an ability to resolve two objects that are very close together in the sky. No one had ever done that before, and so could we do it? That was the big technical question. And we did. Weiskopf led a development team of NASA engineers, scientists, contractors, and internal partners, leveraging Marshall's state-of-the-art X-ray calibration facility and overseeing the building testing, and integration of the complex telescope and the spacecraft that would carry it. Chandra was designed for a high, elliptical orbit that would carry it nearly a third of the way to the moon, far too high to be serviced by shuttle astronauts. That demanded reliable, precision engineering. From an engineering perspective, Chandra, when it flew, was so far advanced than you know, it was like it was like it was designed in a future decade and brought back to the 90s and, and launched then. First light was one in which we held our breath. <laughs> we knew we were already going. We're going to pass with flying colors. Even during the first observations, we made exciting discoveries that one anticipated, and there they were. What was harder to predict in those early days was how broadly Chandra would impact scientific discovery in space aiding fields of study that didn't even exist when the mission was first conceived. When we proposed Chandra, dark energy didn't, it wasn't known. So we couldn't study it because we didn't know how to study it because we didn't know there was something to study. In addition to furthering the study of dark matter, Chandra documented the first electromagnetic events tied to the gravitational waves in space. It's observing potentially habitable exoplanets circling distant stars, and it has collected data on objects some 13.2 billion light years from Earth. Uh, the unknown is actually something that we should embrace, uh, that, oh, this is what it's about, this is how it works, and, and provide uh, understanding and, and uh, the advancement of mankind. Yeah, I think... It's incredible how long we've been able to stay in the spacecraft. It was, it's been up there for 25 years. That's five times what we were expecting it to be. Um, and it's still operating extremely well. We just went through a review and we're meeting our mission goals on science time that we set back in 1999. Um, and it's incredible to be able to still operate and see all the great science that people are still using and publishing papers on with the data we get from Chandra. To date, Chandra has delivered more than 70 trillion bytes of raw data, aiding studies by more than 5,000 unique principal investigators and some 3,500 undergraduate and graduate students around the world. Chandra data has helped more than 700 PhDs and is the basis for more than 11,000 published papers 
with half a million citations. By academic standards, by any standards, it remains one of the most productive NASA science missions ever. And Chandra isn't done yet. Its greatest discovery is, hasn't been discovered yet. It's just sitting there in our data archive, waiting for somebody to ask the right question and using our data to, to answer that question. And that really excites me. It's somebody who may not even be born yet. Meanwhile, NASA Marshall and its partners are now on their third generation of engineers, analysts, and test technicians supporting Chandra's continuing mission, a critical opportunity for new recruits to learn classic tactics for resolving challenges and to hone their skills as they tackle next generation space hardware and technologies. I think they've found a lot of interesting and unique ways to solve the problems that could be applied to other areas that we're currently working on and will be working on in the future because we plan to put more instruments in space to explore the universe. Perhaps Chandra's greatest success is the wonder and awe it continues to evoke in all of us, revealing the majesty of the universe we inhabit, uncovering new science and new answers about the origins of the cosmos and our place in it challenging new generations of space enthusiasts to become the astronomers and astrophysicists of tomorrow. Be patient. Fight for what is good and right and scientifically necessary for the next steps in astronomy and astrophysics. And then be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, but it's worthwhile when it succeeds. If you love science, don't let anybody stop you. Teams win. That's the most important thing that I learned. When we can work seamlessly as a team and accomplish the results, then we realize that the most important person on any team is the person doing his or her job. I mean, that's just wonderful, and that's the way it should be. And so recognizing the entire team along the way. Uh, teams win. 25 years and counting. Everything that Chandra has done has been so fascinating. It's opened up new windows on astronomy and astrophysics. So it's been great.